You know that music means it's time for The Drop, where we talk about the big music headlines of the week. ABC News contributor, DJ, and radio personality Megan Wright is here to break it down for us. Megan, what do we need to know? Good morning, Diane. Okay, so don't tell me I'm too early to be doing this, okay? I know we're not in Oscar season yet. We are still a few months away from knowing the official nominees, but there are already some potential front winners for Best Original Song. Hmm. And two songs come into mind that are already leading the pack, all right? So let's start with the Barbie movie. I'm just kidding by Ken himself, a.k.a. Ryan Gosling, and also Peaches, which was sung by Jack Black in the Super Mario Brothers. Now, let's talk about why things are getting interesting with the Barbie movie. Okay. So, you know only two songs can be nominated in the category to win from a movie? Because something happened in 2008 where, like, movies were taking over and there aren't that many slots, and you want to give everybody a fair chance. You don't want one movie yeah. to get four slots. Yeah, and then only, you know, of course, only one wins. So here's the thing, though. Barbie is giving me, like, the vibes of, like, back in the day where soundtracks were such a big deal. Yeah. And I feel like there were so many amazing songs that could possibly, you know, be nominated. And there's one in particular that I'm, that I'm hearing might not even be able to be nominated. It's the Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj Bobby, Barbie our Aqua Girl song because of the sample. Interesting. Which I think is not cool. I mean, I, I would love, to me, that just represents the movie, but obviously there are so many other songs that could be nominated from that film, but it's interesting to think about, you know, the logistics of all that. It reminds me a bit of the debate over Encanto because uh -huh. the song that actually won the exactly. nomination was not the most popular song, exactly. Bruno, but they wanted to pick one, and obviously they... I guess we will see. Perfect. Now, Bad Bunny is in the Billy Club, and I'm not talking about finances, Diane. I don't know what's in his pockets, but I am talking about streams. Bad Bunny was in the latest episode of Spotify's uh, Billions Club. I love this right here. Basically, what he's doing is he's eating with all of his friends, and they're dining on their other uh, billion stream platforms. Oh. okay? So he is the newest inductee, and obviously, uh, from earlier this year, uh, TT Me Pregunto, which is this one right here, uh, is his re most recent song to, meet, to reach a billion streams. Now, according to Spotify, Bad Bunny is the only artist in the platform's history to have 12 songs with more than 1 billion streams. So he is at the top. He wow. is at the top, 12. Now, is this something a lot of artists do? How exclusive is this club of a billion streams? I mean, so I checked, okay? I can't name all over 400 songs that have a okay, billion okay. streams, but there are some artists who have quite a few. Right under Bad Bunny is Ed Sheeran. Aaron, and I feel like this could be a little bit of a competition coming up because you know we talked about on the last week's drop. He's, he's supposed some, to release a new he's album. He's got some new music, see? I'm paying yes, attention. Yes, yes. So, you know, Bad Bunny, uh, Ed Sheeran, under him is is, is The weekend, of course. There are some other artists in there, Drake, Eminem, these Ariana Grande. But big stars, big stars. Now, good for him. Jay-Z has returned to Instagram, and I'm back to following him, okay? Bam, bam, bam. Yes, he has done this before, but he doesn't stay long. But, you know, when he comes back, he comes back with purpose. Now, this time he is promoting his new film, The Book of Clarence, okay, in which he serves as executive producer. Now, a, a synopsis for The Book I'm of Clarence says, captivated by the Play power and glory of the rising Messiah and his apostles, Clarence risks everything to carve his own path to a divine life and ultimately discovers that the redemptive power of belief may be his only way out. Now, the film is packing some star power. Diane, Lakeith Stanfield uh, plays Clarence alongside uh, James McAvoy, Benedict Cumberbatch, Tiana Taylor, and more. That is a star-studded cast. It is. It is. I'm excited for this movie. Very cool. Well, Megan, we are excited to have you here. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. weekend. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.